Hello again. It's another busy day on Fairview, my HO scale model railroad. And it's time for another layout update. Now I've been on holiday for a few days, the build up to the Easter weekend here in the UK. So I've been able to make some good progress and want to share with you the process of kit bashing a model building to create something new for Fairview downtown, the Book Bunker. So in my last update, I was focusing on the streets in this area, the so-called Fairview Heights. Normally when I'm planning new buildings, I like to make cardboard mock-ups, uh, sometimes very, very simple like this one, which is just some old boxes cut together. Sometimes I make something a little bit more complex like these, which are images from Google Maps stuck onto foam board. But then I start put, putting them into position just to get uh, a feel for how a particular shape and size of building is going to work out. In a future update, I might share some thoughts with you about building kits and about scratch building my structures. But here at least, I bought this old tired model off eBay for five pounds and then started to adapt it. So effectively kit bash it to fit into the space I'd allocated on the layout, taking out old glazing, re-gluing some of the joints, I also had to cut it down one side, so effectively it's uh, not a full depth model. And as I began then to put all the pieces back together with new glazing, um, making sure that everything was structurally sound and starting to put in some false walls and uh, displays in the windows, slowly it started to take shape. Once the model was painted, I needed to come up with some signs. I dubbed it the book bunker and added just final details of uh, items on the roof, things like the gas connection and so on and so forth until the final model is ready to drop into place. And look, here it is, it looks really solid. It looks like it's been there for a long time somewhere where the people of Fairview can browse and find a new book to read in the holidays. For a fairly cheap base model and just a few evenings of work to modify and alter things a bit, I think it's become a really good addition to Fairview and is the stepping off point now for developing more buildings along this particular street. And hopefully I can share with you some of that progress in the months to come. Now, just before I wrap up for this latest update, I wanted to switch to talk quickly about a visit last week to Mech Models in Burton-on-Trent. I should say straight away that I have no commercial or any other connection with the shop, but I saw their stall at the NMRA show a couple of months ago and realised that the store wasn't very far away from me. So last week I popped in for the first time. It was a real pleasure to meet Barry and Colin 
and Carrie, who let me in at the start. And I have to say that the store is a real mecca for UK-based modelers of North American railroads, as you can see from the images. It's got loads of really good stock stuff that's not that easy to get hold of here in the UK. Loads of kits and plenty of scratch building materials and so on, as well as this rather nice little N-gauge layout too. So if you're in the area around Burton and Trent and you've not been there before, I would certainly recommend it to you. And that's it for this month. Thanks as always for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this little update. I might try and do my updates slightly more focused like this in the future, focusing on just one aspect of my model making. But as always, if you have enjoyed watching this, please do click the like button. If you haven't yet become a subscriber, it'd be great if you could also subscribe. It's Easter weekend here, it's a bank holiday weekend, so I hope to get some more model making done. I hope you have a great Easter and look forward to seeing you again soon. We'll just watch the switcher as it waits for the Amtrak service to roll by. But that's it for now. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye and see you soon.